cooler than that, but hell, that's freaking hot to me, but then I've been, I've been working, and uh, I'm going to get my fan going here just to get some wind moving, so we have a blowout on the tiller, um, I'm not sure if this, is, this will probably cost me a fortune now to get fixed, but uh, I got a tear into it, I think I found out why I had such a, uh, noise issue with the tiller. I've been having a noise issue the last uh, couple of couple of months and uh, it's just still hot. No, it's not hot anymore. I guess I can put you guys on that while I tear into the whore again. Um, I think I got a bushing out. I think that's what's making the, the noise. Um, how I'm gonna get that freaking pulley off? I have no effing clue unless it's bolted on there. Something stupid, or something easy, I should say, not stupid. Just if it's something else, it's stupid then. But. So, so I sat the fire and I did some tailing, and then I noticed that there's something. Oh, where that damn nut bolt to? There it is. I noticed that there was something on the, the shaft and I thought well maybe it's just a piece of grass or something covered in some grease or whatever because it is kind of a greasy shit show down there and so I went and touched it sure enough it was metal what the fuck there. and where the truckers have been in here all day today too um, actually I made a video on myself but I'm not gonna upload it though there wasn't there's a couple of truckers here, they were taking a break or whatever, but they were actually sitting there talking on the CVs and I was able to listen in onto them, but they didn't talk very long. So, yeah, I heard a little bit of chatter here and there. So I do hear some truckers from time to time, it's just that when they're on the interstates they don't talk. So maybe they're a little more this winter time when what when when the forecasts come out, but okay, well that looks like that shaft is just held on with a clip, which of course requires a special plier, and that I don't have. I guess you probably could do it with a do it with a screwdriver if you really got smart with it. But You got the belts too. It's not what I wanted to do today, but the uh, belts are all fucking shot too. I mean, this no matter what, guys, I'm pretty sure this fucking killer's down. So I have to now figure out what the fuck that part is. And order one. Now, I'm sure I could probably just go to a certain place, you know, like Husky and get a belt or a part there. But the nearest Husky dealer is too far away and it's not worth the freaking drive. So, the hell with that. Trust me, the hell with that. So, I haven't even looked in the book yet to see what this part was called. Ah, son of a bitch here. See, how do you get these fucking belts off? I got one off. Ouch, damn little bastard. So, I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Because, there we go. Alright, now I got that off. I'm not going to exactly remove these belts because I'm not going to want to deal with them later on. So we'll just kind of tuck those in the corner. Now they get this, there's two of them here. And to remove 
those, you need a special freaking uh, some bitch. Which I'm hoping I can just get lucky with a flathead screwdriver and remove that. Hopefully I can just get lucky with this. If not, well, then we're gonna have to. So this is probably not something you want to do. I'm sure you're probably supposed to do this a certain way. Well, you're supposed to really have that freaking um, tool. And that shot off like a rocket. So that's what this is. This is that special uh, uh, wash or clip. You need a special pair of pliers to get that off. And that's what I don't have. So well, that's off. And these should just slide right off. And I do believe uh, I got the one pulley off. I really should mark these with something, but with what I don't know. I don't know if it matters really. I think they're basically the same size. So. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, well, I guess I can figure it out. There, there's some crud on there, I guess I can go by. So, actually, let's do it this way. Put that push or that roller down, or the pulley, and then we'll put that one on top. And that's like that. And that's part of the bearing. It's actually a bearing, I guess. Right there, that's the part of it. And the rest of it's all just mangled right to fuck. I mean, I can actually see the... It's No, it is a bearing. It's a ball bearing, that's what that is. I can see the little balls in it, so... How you go about removing that now will be a bitch to figure out. Fucking dirt. So... I guess in order to do what I gotta do for tillage, uh, I'm gonna have to take the wings off the colorator and pull the colorator with the John Deere. Um, still, it's not gonna fit down the rows, but it'll work for the big, the big plots that we have left, or for the empty plots, I should say, because we didn't fill the whole entire garden, you know. So, um. I don't think that just comes out like that. That's got to be... And I'm just totally just fucking randomly just tearing shit apart. I ain't looking at no book or nothing. Uh, I'm going to have to though once I got to figure out what kind of bearing that is. It's a ball bearing, but... That has to get ordered. I mean, that just totally fucking grenaded. And I bet you that's what I... Cause the last couple of months I've been hearing this just chatter. And I always thought maybe it was down in where, the, like, the shaft where the tines go into, because that's where it sounded like it was coming from. And no, I think it's just ball bearing right here. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. I just try to. F I guess you just take that bolt out. I'm guessing. What did I do with my wrench? There's my wrench. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I get to work in the shop. And Big Red and John Deere get the watch. Come on, you son of a bitch. So there's a bolt on here, but what this bolt does, I don't fucking know. That's just turning the shaft. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what to do from here, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out, boys. We'll figure it out. Uh, I really don't hope... Oh, fuck me. Is that really what I have to do? That is really making me wonder right now. Son of a bitch. 
That's really... Ah, fuck. If I have to do what I'm thinking I have to do, this is going to be not cool. Oh, shit. Because that thing's just not going to come out like you would want it to. So, basically what I'm thinking, is I kind of look stupid with my hat backwards. I don't really ever wear hats backwards, but I do when I got to get up close and personal. Close and personal to your mom. Not really. That's just a joke. But yeah, what I'm, what I'm thinking here is, I'll show you the bearing. Uh, we're totally out of focus. There's the ball bearing that totally fucking grenaded itself. I don't think you're supposed to be able to see the bearings in there, those ball bearings, and this is not supposed to be sticking out like it is. Okay, and then the other piece of it was right here. Let's see, let's put those down there. And I think this is the other part of it. <laughs> Just. Just ate the shit right out of it. This tiller's a piece of shit. What I'm thinking I have to do, I'm going to go look through the book. I think I actually got to split this this thing here. Um, the axles just bolted into that. And then the shaft. And look at the shaft. I think the shaft's even been leaking. Look at that. So I'm thinking I have to split this thing apart. It's this black thing here. Because it's two pieces, but it's just bolted together. So, now, well that's a total fucking shit showing right in the ass, ain't it? I'm going to have to probably drop it and grab the bun bolt to here, pretty much. Well that's a son of a bitch, ain't it? Well at least I'm getting this for video evidence, or for, um. Well, I can go back to this video when I decide to, when I get the part and I put it back together. I can kind of go off of what I did here. So this belt right here is at the front. This is the reverse belt, and this one here is the drive belt. Ah, the reverse belt's smaller than the, than the drive anyway. And something else that's been going on too is my tiller's been leaking, leaking tons of motor oil. So, fuck it. I'm gonna drive on until she explodes. The, the good thing is though is that the axle for the wheels is held on with just, just a pin. So I can pull the pin and drop the axles real freaking quick, but son of a bitch, I'm gonna have to freaking I'm gonna have to maybe figure out a way that I can tie these handlebars up to something that can hold the tiller up because I can't have the axles here, it looks like. Um well, I, I actually, another thing I could do, too, is I could tilt the tiller forward. That could uh, that could always be a possibility. It's maybe just tipping it forwards. But I don't know if it leaks oil or not. Or The tiller likes to leak, leak gas when you do shit like that to it. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that... And that in the cover. Okay, and then I'm just going to put everything in the cover so we don't lose anything. Be a smart person about it this time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave the belts as they are. And do this two handed, not one handed. Yeah, this is some bullshit. I'm going to have to go online now and figure out. See that? You hear that clicking? That is for sure that, that bearing. Yeah, I don't like doing that. Yep, that's, the, that's, that's what's doing it. That clicking right there. That's what's doing it. That ball bearing. Alright, well we solved that issue then. But I don't like... Fact. No, it's changing too damn short. I don't like the fact that I have to tilt it all the way forward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try a little bit of something. 
I really do wish that my fucking uh, come along worked, but it don't work. Can I get lucky and do this? Just like that. Now, change it just a hair bit short. And yeah, I'm just kind of see here. Uh, I was actually kind of just hoping that maybe the track of the door could hold it. Probably not going to be a good idea now either. Actually, I could just do this. Um, maybe? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's how you make a jack right there, you sons of bitches. Uh, a little bit concerning here, though, but. Uh, how about maybe something like this? Well. I'll put a, uh, what did I do with it? What did I do with that rock? Rocky, where'd you go? Not 100% sure what I do. Oh yeah, the rock's outside, never mind. Okay, well, fuck that idea then. I was going to put something in front of the tiller so maybe it wouldn't walk its way out. That's probably what it's going to end up doing too. Once I figure out how... Get that frickin' bearing out. Well, that should hold it. I don't think that's gonna really be an issue anyway. Well, what we could do, I guess, just to say that we did. Uh, just to say that we did. And I've had this for many years too. This came with the house. <laughs> just so I can't, I guess, try to walk over that. It would have to work pretty hard to find that, but. Yeah, I think that'll hold. I, it's a little bit concerning because of the way it's fitting on the track. And they're going to park vehicles here. But the way I got it hooked on the track here, I don't think that really be, that won't be too much of an issue. I got another freaking vehicle. I actually do have another chain, but not as good. And that's the chain off the off the old uh, trailer too. So uh, be right there. Uh, well, what I could do. I'm just trying to think of an idea to make this a little bit safer. I, mean, I guess that probably would be on there. It's on there quite a ways. What I was thinking was maybe doing something like this. Uh, we'll just hook that into this. Okay. And then we'll curl this over the track. Now it's on the well, I'm going to be in the spring, I think. Well, maybe that one bothers me. Now, if I'm right here, I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's see here. Actually, what I could do is take a sharpen this. And we don't want to pinch the cable. And you guys ain't even seeing this. This is bullshit. I'm just trying to figure out what will make it smarter and safer. damage the okay well, what we'll do do that and then what we'll do is
Well, hello there, Dodgy. How are you doing today? Fucking okay, alright to dodge around. Looks like a 1500 though. Because I'll actually just lock this plate with a bolt. Or at least doesn't have to happen. That's not going to work. Well, I guess we'll just have to go back to the old way that we had it. That's the only way that will work the most. And if this thing does fall, well, who gives a fuck, right? Right? Am I right? Who gives a fuck? Alright, well, that's not going to work. I guess if I had a longer bullet, it probably would, but I'm not going to play around anymore. this up. This actually has to go in for a hole. Uh, it'll just have to work, boys. It's probably not the smartest idea and probably not the smartest thing to do, but you know what? I don't give a shit. When you're a redneck, you do stuff the redneck way. But I guess what we can do is go on an airplane. I guess while we're here, we can drop... Uh, drop the axle. Now... This stupid thing off before I lose it. Alright, what did I do with the cotter pin? There it is. Oh, come on, give me that damn cotter pin back. Alright, so the axles. The axles should just come right off now. Again, we'll just put all the parts in here. Guess that's the way she's gonna have to be, bitches. Uh, I think I'll take this stupid thing off too. It's probably not necessary, but it's just one less stupid thing I have to worry about. And, uh, I didn't have a spacer on it, so. Dodge. Ooh, that was a 2500 right there, baby. Black. Alright. So then we'll just throw. I'm just going to throw that underneath the tail there, too. That'll help hold it in place. And uh, if you guys are crooked, I do apologize. Oh, you guys ain't seen much, anyways. So. Now, get the axle to drop. This will be a major pain in the fucking ass, of course. So everything's a pain in the ass. Chain's gonna have to hold it now because 
because the damn pillar's axleless now. Bitch. Yeah, that's right. You lock that damn alarm. So, the next step, I'm trying to figure out how to get that son of a bitch apart. But uh, how long is this video getting to be anyway? 25 minutes. Well, I think that's basically all I'm going to do for today. Uh, just because I want to keep this video on the short side for you guys. Um, I know you guys are going to probably hate long videos, so... Yeah, she don't have an axle anymore. The only thing I have to do now is I'm going to probably take this thing off. I don't know if I really have to, but I get this, hair, this here has to be split. And if I could, I could really make it lazy and... Well, I... I guess I could have moved the handlebars out of the way if I really wanted, wanted to, but... I think the handlebars would be fine. How to get that bushing out, I don't know. That's going to be a pain in the cocksucker to figure out. But this has to come off. This stud's going to have to come off for the cover. And that'll get us more access to the bushing, or the bearing. So, yeah, we've got a ball bearing out on the uh, FT900. That's a shitty shit show. So this will probably be like a million part series video because I got to figure out um, how I'm going to get that bearing out. I got to look in the book and figure out what kind of bearing that is or like if it needs a special part number or something. I don't know. Hopefully the redneck deal will hold. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. Um... I guess there, there's usually another thing that I do too to be on the safer side, but I don't know if I'll do it because um, normally uh, it's not gonna work. Ah, I'll just wait a fuck over there. I'm not gonna get to it now. Normally, when I take the axles out of these things, I'll put a piece of wood underneath underneath them to hold it up. But I hope the chain can hold. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much it then for part one, guys. Um, part two, I guess, will be made uh, basically whenever. And I still got to figure out what's wrong with this tire. I'm thinking there's probably a bushing out of that, too. So, well, fuck. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to take off. Um, like I said, this will be probably a mini part series. I probably won't even get it put back. I'm not going to get it put back together this month I don't think because I'm gonna to have to find that bearing and I gotta figure out how to even take that freaking bearing out it really shouldn't be in there too big it shouldn't be in there too bad you would think that once you split this you'll be able to get to that center thingy in, and that's when you should be able to split that and get that bearing out. I don't know I'm not even hundred percent sure look at all the dodges that's a 1500 yeah, smoke it. So yeah, I'm just going to take off, guys. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.